Now to California and a story of resilience. Bill Whitaker now with a magnificent sight high in the western sky. Of all the sights to see in California, this is one of the rarest. A California condor gliding 15,000 feet in the air, riding thermal air currents. With a wingspan of 10 feet and weighing up to 30 pounds, these high-flying scavengers once ruled the western skies. In the early 1980s, the number of California condors plummeted after decades of poaching and environmental hazards like pollution, habitat loss, and lead poisoning. Just 22 birds remain. Conservationists scrambled to protect them, with breeding programs at zoos in Los Angeles and San Diego. To keep them wild in captivity and to keep them from growing attached to humans, scientists use puppets to raise the condor chicks. The breeding programs appear to be working. By next year, the condor population is set to soar past the 400 mark. We have saved the species genetically and demographically. Michael Mace has devoted most of his career at the San Diego Zoo to protecting the California condor, releasing more than 100 into the wild. He's proud of the bird's progress, but... The environment still has challenges. There are still pressures on the species. Pressures like these power lines, stretching three miles up a rugged peak near the Northern California community of Big Sur. They bring power to an air traffic control radar system, and cut through a condor flight path. Covered by coastal fog, the lines are difficult to see and have electrocuted three condors. Kelly Sorensen tracks the birds at Big Sur. It's almost impossible to see until it's too late. So Pacific Gas and Electric, the company that owns the power lines, took them down. The utility used helicopters to bring in underground piping and then buried the wires. The total cost? $4.2 million. According to the federal government, it's one of the largest projects ever launched to protect an endangered species. I think we can all agree that to have our children see condors and their children's children see condors in the wild is going to be a great thing. Right now we're in this race. We want to get the population up as fast as we possibly can. And now there's one less obstacle in the way of the condor's recovery. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Los Angeles.